Over the last few years, a crack has been growing in Larsen I shelf C, and that crack has finally gone through all the way and formed an iceberg. And that iceberg is now free to move off into the Southern Ocean and to melt. The formation of an iceberg from Larsen C ice shelf is in itself not an unusual event. But what we've seen previously on the northerly neighbour of Larsen C, Larsen B, was that as a big iceberg was produced, the rest of the ice shelf became unstable. And once the ice shelf itself collapsed, all the glaciers that feed it rushed faster into the sea, and there was a small but identifiable contribution to sea level rise. If Larsen C goes the same way, and after the iceberg is formed, the ice shelf itself collapses, then we will see another contribution to sea level rise. We see no obvious signal that climate warming is causing the whole of Antarctica to break up. However, around the Antarctic Peninsula, where we've seen several decades of warming through the latter half of the 20th century, we do see these ice shelves collapsing and ice loss increasing. There are other parts of Antarctica which are losing ice to the oceans, but those are affected less by atmospheric warming and more by ocean change. Larsen C itself might be a climate change uh, impact, but elsewhere we see cracks forming, for instance, on Brunt Ice Shelf, where British Antarctic Survey has its Halley station. Um, and there, those cracks are of a very different kind, and we don't believe there is any connection there to climate change.